So this video is going to be um, an attempt to repair my mini rear subframe that um, the bolt managed. I managed to snap off. Uh, so this is the bolt that's basically sheared off. Um, the other side. This is what it should look like. So the plan is to. Uh, cut that out and I've got a 7 16 um, bolt to replace it. I'm going to cut that out and weld it in or attempt to. So now I'm using a piece of uh, CDS tubing so it's 5 8 tubing um, 2.64 mil wall thickness which basically will give me slightly uh, smaller than 7 16 hole on the inside. I couldn't find any um, tubing of the right diameter so I'm just going to ream the, the tube out to the right size with um, just a hand ream. So yeah this is 7 16th just a hand reamer which I'm now going to use to ream out this to 7 16th. So reaming this once it's started it's fairly straightforward basically just a case of turning this round until the whole thing is reamed to 7 sixteenths. So this has now been reamed out, so it's 5 eighths on the outside, it's now been reamed out on the inside to 7 sixteenths. So it should, uh, in theory, go over and be a replacement for this pipe, this piece here. So I'll just cut a piece off here, so this is going to be 30mm uh, and when I drill this out I will uh, put the, the bolt through on that, uh, through this, through here and this piece will go on um, and that takes the bushing. So these are the bolts that I've bought, these are 7 16th high tensile steel bolts, zinc plated unfortunately, that will um, have to be a bit careful with welding that. Um, so this um, should go on here as so, yep, so this piece of pipe, this will be cut, cut off here, uh, I'm going to cut the um, head off the bolt here on this side and this will be um, used to replace the uh, broken off stud in the subframe. So this is just the uh, piece that's now been cut down, um, cut to 30mm length. So it basically just replaces this um, small section here uh, where the old bolt snapped off. Okay, so I've now managed to remove the uh, offending bolt and the actual locating plate as well from the subframe. So that was done by grinding. So I used a tungsten carbide burr to grind the uh, welds around here. There's two spot welds here and here as well, and then it was welded around the edges here. So they were those welds were ground out, and then I used the trusty air chisel to remove it. It could be done with a normal chisel, but um, it's a lot quicker with the air chisel. Um, there's also a weld to be removed on this side that was just simply just the end of the uh, rod was was basically welded on this side so that was ground out we're using the tungsten carbide burr as well so now I'm going to start cutting the plate um, to replace this and start making up the uh, the replacement okay so I've started to um, build a make some plates that go on the end so these were we used the uh, original as a template basically yeah, it's got the nut welded or the uh, bolt welded through the bottom on the outside I've got the uh, piece of steel pipe that I uh, made uh, before and then obviously on the end there's the nut the end has been cut off so this should now fit into the actual subframe and I'm going to weld that on. so I've now cleaned up all the welds and the area around the subframe so this is now kind of ready to accept the uh, the new piece. So this will slot in there like so. Uh, and I'll need to weld this in place 
to complete the repair. So I'm just going to go and do that now. Okay, so here's the finished job. So it's basically been welded in, welded all on the sides, and it's also been welded inside as well. So I decided to do both sides because the other side um, was equally rusted and I thought I didn't really want to be doing this job again um, in the future if I was taking the subframe off and I sheared it off, especially after I had it all shot blasted and painted and stuff. So um, yeah, so I've basically done the second one. So this is the second side, pretty much looks the same as the first. So it seems like it's a, a reasonable job, I think. So now it just needs a subframe finishing off and painting. Thanks for watching.